first of all, uh, for people that are unaware, the uh, tonight was uh, today was coaches versus uh, cancer sneaker day. Um, you know, Coach Huggins and I both lost our mothers to cancer, so I know it's a day that's uh, very uh, important to both of us. Um, I think it's important to mention it now. I get a chance to mention it to other people. Any thing you can do to help our fight against uh, against COVID, against cancer. Uh, I've recently been honored with uh, joining the American Cancer Society board here locally, and uh, hope, hopefully uh, can make a difference in that as I get a little bit more time after the season. Um, personally, I wear black gym shoes every year on this game because I lost my mother five years ago to cancer. Um, as far as the game, uh, we missed a lot of a lot of shots, and we let it affect our defense enough to get us beat. Uh, didn't do a good job keeping Joe Mazzola out of the paint. That's why they shot a lot of free throws. And it's a, it's a dangerous thing when you let your offense affect your defense. We let our, we let our uh, ineptitude on the offensive end affect our energy on the defensive end enough to get a speed. They only shoot 33% in the second half. That's misleading because they make 17 free throws. Now we fouled them a couple times late, so they still make 13. Um, before we intentionally fouled eight the game with the clock situation. But, uh, you know, that's one thing that uh, we hadn't done all year. And, uh, you know, the only thing I can surmise is that uh, maybe our guys were overconfident. I don't know why they would have been other than we're undefeated at home coming into tonight. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know if we were in shock because we missed shots. But uh, we definitely let, us affect, let it affect us in a negative way on the defensive end because we have breakdowns that we have not had all year. We're fourth in the nation in scoring defense. We do not allow guys to drive into the paint, especially in fifth, third arena. Um, and, and a team that's not a good three-point shooting team with their best shooter, Casey Mitchell, not, uh, not suiting up. Uh, so it's just inexcusable uh, what we did on the defensive end. And, and uh, my opinion is a direct result of our, uh, uh, our, in our ineptitude at times on the offensive end. I think they also took Yancey out of the game in the second half. Well, they decided to double team it. You know, and it's guys are standing there wide open at the three point line. But, you know, we're, there is a rule where you're allowed to go rebound it. He only had one offensive. You talked about offensive rebounding being the key coming in there. They had 50, they offensive rebounded 57% of the missions. Yeah, shots and make. it was 70% in the first half. But that's what they've been doing, and all their Big East wins. So, tough game for Darnell Wilkes to play. Been trying to get him stronger for four years. Doesn't have the ball skill to play, play out anywhere else on our team. Um, tough game uh, for him. Um, we just didn't do a good job, on the, and especially in the first half on the, on the backboard. Second half, a uh, little bit different, but uh, still didn't, didn't do a good enough job on the backboard. Is that just effort? No, I mean, they, they do a good job. Uh, I will tell you my opinion. Our off, our, our, for the most part, there was a couple of times where I thought we just got outmanned. But when you're keep continuously getting beat off the dribble, People are in help mode. They're not in blockout mode. You can't block your man out if you're rot rotating, trying to stop the ball. So that's that, that's the problem. That was the problem. Their dribble penetrate. Joe Mazzola single-handedly won the game. They had other guys. I'm sure they feel played well, but he, in my opinion, he single-handedly won the game. Great leadership. His dribble penetration killed us. We didn't do a good job containing him. End of story. What happened with the technical foul? I tried to call a timeout. And I thought, you thought you were yelling at him? Yeah. You have to guard now, as disappointing as this loss is, that it doesn't affect your guys the rest of the way you have a week off. Now. Yeah, if it does, we got major problems. I got guys been playing around. Been, <clears throat> been playing in the Big East and been playing in our program. Um, and deal with everything that goes with both of those statements at Cincinnati in the last three years. We're 18 and four. We got a couple days off to uh, get some rest, get focused on academics, and get back. You're only as good, in our league, you're only as good as your next game. 
You know, Syracuse hasn't won since they beat us. Welcome to the Big East. You don't play well, you're not going to win. You know, we didn't play well enough on offense, obviously, so therefore you have to play excellent defense, and we did not play excellent defense. You have to be great at rebounding, we were not at great at rebounding. Enough to make up for uh, our lack of, uh, our lack of uh, offense. I was curious, we asked for your answer to come in with Rudy Sism, I think it's not playing there. No. I'm on the radio. Do you know that the answer was not on that? I'll be honest, Bill, if I was Nancy, I wouldn't want to come in the way people treat him at times. Not you, but the way the, the general public has treated him at times. If I was him, too. It seemed like you guys struggled offensively when Cash was out of the No doubt, but his second foul is his own fault, 70 feet from the basket. His second foul killed us. 70 feet from the basket. Again, he's trying to steal the ball because I, somebody missed, he or somebody else missed an open shot. Whatever happened, you got to just get back on defense. You know, you got one foul, you're a point guard, there's a lot of time left. I don't know exactly when he picked it up. There's a lot of time left in the first half when he picked up the second foul. Dumb foul. Dumb fouls, you know, we lost the game with the foul line, guys. And that's our own fault and Joe Mazzulla's credit. To Joe Mazzulla's credit and to our, our uh, ineptitude defensively uh, to, to keep him out of the paint and to play smarter on the defensive end. If I stress one thing in this game to the guys, is we can't lose the game on the foul line. They can't make enough shots to beat us. We didn't get the job done. So. Coach, can we talk, I think last game you talked about the ability for uh, your team to to score points, even though they're subbing away sometimes. Do you feel like that was a problem tonight, or was it more a matter of just a couple guys missing open shots? Not so much new players not getting ready. No. And did you consider playing Yancey if they get the same time at all times? You mentioned the last game. No. They're four man shoots, three point shots. Thank you.